So food allergy is mediated by an antibody called IgE. That is what a lot of people are familiar with when they do a back scratch test, for example. It can also be measured via blood, but that is what measures a true allergy. Um, and that is different than a food sensitivity, and food sensitivities are measured with various tests. Uh, a common one might be IgG testing, but and then you have the mediator release test as well. IgG testing is not a complete test because there's a lot of different mechanisms involved with food sensitivities, IgG being just one of many mechanisms, and those mechanisms in turn may or may not release the inflammatory mediators that are producing inflammation. And another disadvantage to IgG testing is that it cannot measure chemicals. And you can react to anything. Um, you can react to a food or you can react to a chemical. And some of those chemicals are naturally occurring and other chemicals are artificial. But you can react to just about anything except salt, baking soda, and a few other items. So uh, people react to food colorings. People react to caffeine, people react to molds, people react to MSG, and, um, and even naturally occurring chemicals like solanine, which is a naturally occurring chemical found in the nightshade family, or tyramine or phenylethylamine, which are migraine triggers, and those are naturally found in certain foods as they age, like chocolate or uh, cheddar cheese or uh, uh, smoked or pickled foods those foods produce tyramine or phenylethylamine, which are typically migraine triggers. So it's a very advantageous to have a test that can not only measure the reaction to foods, but also those chemicals that might cause a reaction as well.